you need guys there is joy in knowing and serving God there is this joy you get from knowing and serving God honestly you might not get all the riches in the world you might not get all the luxury things of life but that joy that joy that happiness is is i don't even know how to describe it honestly i don't know how to describe it it's something else it's peace it's peace and a living witness it's peace to serve god honestly only the joy alone covers every other thing honestly you need that joy in your life if you don't have christ you need that joy it's peace guys it's peace hello guys welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building <laughs> in today's video i just want to discuss some certain things things of the mind you know and you know let's talk let's let's rub minds you know let's discuss you know let's talk about those things those things we need to get rid of mm, before entering the year there's those things we need to deal with and those things that we need to step up with you know so guys keep watching let's go let's go let's go let's go this is the time of the year when you need to reflect on your life you know and ask yourself how have i lived my life this year ask yourself some questions and try to find out things that didn't work out for you or mistakes you've made that you have to correct you know because this is the end of year another year has come and believe you me you we are not because as i'm also talking to you guys i'm also talking to myself we are not getting any younger so this is the time of the year when you have to tell yourself i have to deal with those things you know put these things aside i have to improve on myself i have to set another goal for myself for the coming year you know so lately i've also been reflecting my life as in reflecting on the news that gone that has gone and the thing is just that yes somehow <laughs> i'm feeling bad but i know that's a lie from the pit of hell because that is the only thing the devil has just tricks he comes to play tricks on you he will always remind you of things you did not achieve he will always remind you of things that you were not able to accomplish they are making you ungrateful making you not to appreciate the ones you have achieved and the things you have so anyways he got me a little <laughs> by making me feel bad you know making me wallow in thoughts you know feeling bad about the things i was not able to achieve things i was not able to accomplish making me to feel bad making me to feel i'm not good enough I, i'm not trying my best so so far i've come to the conclusion to deal with some certain things you know in my life 
and also to focus more on the things I've achieved this year and be grateful to God for those little things that I've achieved this year you know because most times when you dwell more on things you're not able to achieve it takes a whole lot from you making you not to see the things you've achieved making you not to be grateful for the things you have I've decided to deal with fear the spirit of fear because I noticed that the only way things get to you is when you have fear of that thing because I, I realized that the only way devil conquers human is through fear because as long as you are a Christian and a believer devil has no power over you because Christ died and pay the price for you but the only way the devil can conquer you or defeat you is once he sets that picture of fear in you that is when he gets your mind and once that fear is there, before you know it, all those things you imagined or you are afraid of will start manifesting without you knowing it. And it will just start manifesting in your life. So I've decided and made up my mind to deal with the spirit of fear. I'm not ever going to enter this. Um, New Year, this coming 2020, living with fear, being scared of some certain things. So, I have to you know, step up my spiritual life, step up my prayer life, and deal with the spirit of fear. Now, because that is the only thing the devil has. It's powerless the only thing he has is tricks and the only way he tricks you is by presenting those things to you and once you start seeing those things maybe those things that you feel ah this thing i cannot achieve it and you be automatically you become scared of that thing you start dwelling on it ah, before you know it, you start seeing negative things as in about that particular thing. And before you know it, you will start being discouraged. And all those things you are scared of gradually, gradually will start manifesting in your life. So this year, this coming year, I am going to step up my game. By improving in my spiritual life, I'm not level letting the devil to come to trick me or tell me certain things in my mind. No, 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 no. So, guys, I also urge you to sit up and also reflect on your life. Ask yourself some questions. Try to reflect on your previous life and try to deal with some certain things and you know yourself you know the things that are battling with you know your fears try to deal with all those your fears and try also to step up your spiritual life you know in that way you'll be able to conquer in that way you'll be able to be strong enough 
to withstand anything that any challenge or circumstance that comes your way. So all we need is prayer. All we need is prayer. All we need is prayer and communication with God. Communication with God is not just prayer, you know. You also have to dwell on his words. Because if you know what the words said, that's the Bible said, it will help you not to believe what the devil says. When you know what the word of God says, it helps you not to believe what the devil says to you. So, try to build a stronger relationship with God, thereby helping yourself to conquer any challenge because things are not getting better the world is just turning around and, and I don't want to say it's things are getting worse I don't just want to use that negative word but we all know what the situation is right now in the world we are living everything is just changing and as everything is changing all we need is God God is the only thing we need in this time in this time in this end time because so many things are just coming on so many things are happening in this world so the only way for us to conquer is to build our faith and build up our spiritual life and have a strong relationship with God because he's the ultimate there's nothing we can achieve or get in this life without him so sometimes i wonder if you don't have god what do you have again my god what do you have if you don't have god sometimes i just wonder people that don't believe in god i, I, I wonder because the only consolation i have as a human being when i face challenges or when i face things in life is God. That is the only consolation I have in my life. Sometimes when things, bad things are happening to me, if I remember there is God, it helps me as in it is the pain or, or yeah, that's the right word. It's just it is the pain and feeling or I'm passing through that particular moment so if you if you are out there and you don't know God and you don't have any relationship I wonder how you survive I wonder how you cope for me <laughs> if not for God maybe by now I would have rotten in as in, I don't just know I don't just know but I know that if not for God, I will not be here and I will not be alive today. So, my brothers and sisters, my brethren, <laughs> my family, my fans, I urge you guys to build a strong relationship with God. It pays to serve God. It pays to know God. It pays to have a relationship with God, honestly. It pays. There are so many good things. There are so many things that comes with knowing God. Just give yourself the chance of knowing you with him. Hmm? It pays to serve God. There are so many good things. There are so many good things in serving God. Just give yourself a chance of knowing God. You know? Just give yourself a chance of knowing him, accepting him, 
in your life to be your personal Lord and Savior. And then compare your life knowing Him and your former life. If it's not better, then I, I urge you to go back to normal life. Just try it. Try knowing Him. Try building a relationship, accepting Him, making Him the Lord over your life, over all the affairs of your life. You know, in this coming year, and compare your life knowing him and your former life. If there is no change, then you are free to go back to your normal life. It really pays. If you, are, if you know him and serve him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and doing what he says you should do, doing the right things, you will definitely see his finger, the finger of God <laughs> in your life and in all the affairs of your life. Just give him a try. Okay? So guys, as you are also celebrating the season, celebrating the birth of Christ, celebrating Christmas, also remember to take out time and reflect on yourself, reflect on your life and try to write down the goals, you know, your expectations for the upcoming year and the things you want to achieve for the upcoming year. You know, when you write them down, it's easier for you to work towards them. And try your best to be a better person, to achieve better things, and also to do better in the upcoming year. So guys, I don't know if I'll be able to upload any other video before 25th of this month. So, guys, I'll be wishing you a Merry Christmas and a blissful New Year. Hmm? Enjoy yourself. Hmm? You guys should enjoy yourselves, eh? This Christmas. Eat plenty rice and plenty chicken. And all the good food you can lay your hands on. Just enjoy. Hmm? Bye for now. And see you all in my next video.